This is the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. Valentine's Day, February 14th, is one of the biggest days of the year for lovers of chocolate. Americans were expected to spend more than $1 billion on chocolates and other candies for their sweethearts this year. But the chocolate industry worries that prices for its sweets could rise in the years ahead. Susan Smith is a spokeswoman for the National Confectioners Association, a trade group for the candy, chocolate, and gum industries. She says, they're very aware that an everyday candy product needs to be an affordable treat. Americans buy more than $18 billion worth of chocolate each year. But keeping chocolate at prices that people can afford may be a challenge in the future. Demand is growing, especially in Asia. More people in Asia are developing a taste for chocolate and have more money to buy it. The chocolate industry worries that supply will not keep up with demand. Cocoa is the main ingredient in chocolate. Millions of poor farmers in West Africa grow about 70% of the world's cocoa. Each farmer has just a few hectares of land and they don't have a lot of additional capital. They may not have the management skills that are required to actually do a better job. So says Lyndall Meinhardt. He supervises cocoa research at the United States Department of Agriculture. Mr. Meinhardt says these farmers often do not have the money to buy fertilizers that would increase their productivity. And Sona Ibai, with the World Cocoa Foundation, says when the land stops producing, farmers just clear more land. Deforestation in West Africa is largely the result of so-called slash and burn agriculture for cocoa and other crops. Mr. Ibai, a senior technical advisor, says economic forces are not the only problems facing cocoa farmers. Experts say pests and diseases destroy 30 to 40 percent of the world's cocoa crop each year. The chocolate industry needs farmers to produce more cocoa to meet the growing demand. Small-scale farmers need help to increase their productivity and lift themselves out of poverty without destroying more rainforest. And West African governments want to help an industry worth $8 billion a year. So Naibai says all sides are working together to seek solutions. For the first time, farmers, processors, chocolate multinationals, civil society are working to make sure that the cocoa economy in the world is sustainable. Everybody chipping in to make it stay that way. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.